Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Yeah. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. Nah. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a shot. Mad Liberian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Dog. Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Be truthful yeah. with yourself, you know you ain't messing Stupid with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. How? And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Doggy Vaughn, man? Smash that like button, man. Subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, make sure you comment down below. Question for y'all before we get into this quick story time. I feel like everybody, sim or people who play real football versus comp players versus pros, everybody is cheesy in some way. And we're going to get into that in this video. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. So let me tell y'all what happened. So a little shawty hit me up, right? She, and uh, she was like, hey, uh... Can I come by? I'm like, yeah, sweet, uh, slide through. It's like about 10. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching a movie, so shorty come over. So I'm like, shorty ass trying to get her motherfucking cheeks destroyed, huh? So she she come over, climb on the couch, funny as shit in the world, like her getting on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Because she got a little jump. You know what I'm saying? She just can't get on how I get on. She got a little, you know what I'm saying, a little 40-inch vertical to get there. So... We we watching the movie. What was I watching? Damn, I can't remember what I was watching, bro. It was a older movie though. It was good as hell too. But so we watching the movie, and then like she was like, "Man, I text you, and you ain't text me." And she play hit me. I said, "Ooh, yo ass trying to to wrestle into some freakiness." Hell yeah. So I'm like, man, I was busy. And didn't even see your message. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? So she stood up on my couch. And I'm like, hey, hey, you still grown? Get the fuck off my couch, man. You standing on my couch like that. You know what I'm saying? And she was, she laughed, but she was like, yeah, you right. <laughs> so she got down. You know what I'm saying? It didn't take a lot for her to get down, but she got down. And she was hit me like, don't be ignoring my messages. I forgot. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? Unk 6'3", probably like 268 right now. So she was hitting me and like like she was she wasn't standing on my couch no more, but she was on her knees, so she hitting me, and I'm like, ha <laughs> hit her forearm shiver, caught her ass dead here, knocked her ass off the couch. Oh shit. Man, bro, shorty ass fell off the couch, caught a whole attitude to about you hit me hard. You know what I'm saying? So now I spent like the next 30 minutes convincing Shorty I didn't hit you hard. Like I like when me and my nephew wrestling, I hit his ass with the forearm shiver when we playing too. You know what I'm saying? And he be eating them boys and we be going at it. So yeah, I low key I killed the vibe of the whole night when I forearm shivered her ass. But then it was like she reminded me like, uh, did you forget? I'm like, yeah, I did. Low key, I did forget that I'm just like super way bigger than you, man. I'm a, if I got the text messages, I'm a, I'm gonna ask her if it's cool if I post a text message uh, of us talking about it. But yeah, I caught her ass clean too, right here. You know what I'm saying? Caught her when she, cause she went to hit me, so I, I, I hit her ass with the Floyd shoulder roll and shivered her ass, and her ass fell off the couch, man. It ain't make a lot of noise when she fell, though. But, yeah, I, I fucked that night up. Actually, this was three nights ago. I've been meaning to tell y'all this story, but I forgot. You know what I'm saying? I forgot to say it in my videos. But, yeah, shit was crazy. <laughs> uh, appreciate y'all for rocking with y'all, uh, boy, man. And, and enjoy the video, man. Peace. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? We back on the Madonna with another banger for y'all boys, man. And, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This is for all the real football players, man. The niggas who play real football on the Madon, we ran into one. And I'm gonna keep it a buck. As you can see, he comes out in strong pro. He gave me hell with this basic shit, bro. 
and we're gonna go through it in the video we're gonna talk about it in the video but i respect dog because one he and all madden seasons where where the sweat of the sweats are so he's playing sim style football he punt which meaning he punt on fourth down he's playing the game natural with no uh qb uh velocity abilities the only ability he runs is gunslinger and conductor like he playing like real 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 natural football and it's about to get his natural ass beat man let's get into the game man so he comes out in strong slot and i'm gonna I'm say this too going through this video what we will realize is even sim style regular football niggas is cheesy now as you can see he runs stretch right there right out of a uh, strong slot so he comes out in strong slot again. I'm like, ooh, shit. So you you finna just run a lot of stretch, and then he throws right at me. In the seams. Quick seam throw. So I'm like, all right, that's what he likes in that situation. Right here, what does he do? Come out, throw a quick check down to the flats. Now, if I go coverage, probably get dog out of here a lot quicker as he throws at two people that time. Because, you know, it's some people who, like, their offense is so A, B, C, D, like, check down, check down, check down, that you blitzing a lot is, is easy. It's like nothing for them because they're going to just check down to that running back every single time. Regardless if I was there, regardless if I wasn't, he was going to hit that flat. And I ended up getting, like, just fine as he hits the flat again, just getting rid of this stick. I'm not playing with it no more, bro. Like, that's the one thing about being a content creator who grinds. I'm now on this controller, uh, which is the Fusion uh, hybrid joint. You go through a shit ton of controllers, bro. Oh, my goodness, I go through a lot of controllers. Like, is this one. This is just this year. This one. This one. The, I got the, the white one that just started giving me stick drift. I got this black joint. And then a leak controller that I gotta get fixed. This a this a two hundred and fifty dollar damn controller, man. Or yeah, I think it was one fifty or two fifty. I can't remember when it first dropped. I think when it first dropped, it was like two fifty. But yeah, so as you can see, even though Dog is a so called sim player, he only run two formations: strong slot and strong pro. And then he uh he'll run tight slots. But he only runs two play, uh, three plays to no, four plays total. I run five plays, five six plays total out of my empty gun bunch. So am I more cheesier? Am I am I more cheesier? Is it cheesier? Cause cause cheesier is already making it plural, so it's no reason to say more cheesier. But am I cheesier for running one formation with five or six plays? Or is he just as cheesy for running three formations but the same amount of plays? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. So right here, third and go, he goes to the uh, dive, which I knew was coming, um, with no hot route master and or no uh, gunsling, I mean, no velocity abilities. He's going to keep everything short. Pushing a ball up the field, huge no-no for dog. But I'm stubborn. I could have easily just went ahead and bagged dog ass up with coverage defense. But my pet peeve is allowing people to run the ball. Now, as you can see, he ends up kicking it on four, on the three-yard line on his opening drive. Now, here's another one. He comes out, right, in dollar. Sam got dollar, but he only runs cover four. And that's not just this play for the entirety of the game. He only runs cover four. Is he cheesy fall? Because that's what I do. I only won one play. I make a shit ton of adjustments. I think that's a, a common misconception of people who run just one play on defense. Just because I'm in cover three seam, that shit ain't going to look like cover three when I'm done with, with my adjustments. You know what I'm saying? It might look like a cover six. It might look like a cover nine. It might look like a cover two, an uh, inverted three. Like It might look like wild different shit when I'm done with it. So, I think that's the common misconception about people who run one play. Like, we, there's a lot of adjustments in that one play. 
that allow us to just stick in that one shell and play defense out of it. But if you run just stock cover four, which is what this is, no adjustments, every single play, is it cheesy? Now, just because it don't work don't mean it ain't cheesy, right? Just because what you're running is ass does not make it not cheesy. So we get back on defense. I'm annoyed as hell, bro, because it's like I don't want dog scoring points on me. And I'm having so many issues. This is right before I switched to the uh, – the new controller I was so annoyed because I could not get any adjustments out bro oh I was having such a tough time blitzing my guys and putting dudes in and thirds and hooks and everything bro and dog was quick snapping like crazy I'm talking from the moment he got to the line to the moment he hiked three seconds you see, three seconds, dog snapping this shit out the ball. You know what I'm saying? And then with no velocity abilities, it kind of throws your timing off because the ball floats way longer than you used to. As you can see right here, can't get no adjustments off. Can't get my guys in the middle to hover or nothing. I'm just in shambles at this point, bro. I'm annoyed. Like, I'm looking at my throwable like, hey, man, go tell your kids your ass for to take a flight, my boy. I'm finna throw you somewhere far. You know what I'm saying? So right there, we're like, I'm not matching. I'm gonna hit a buck. I don't even know if I had match on in this game. I was so annoyed, bro. Right there, I kind of knew that was coming because everything is gonna be underneath unless he goes tight slot. You know what I'm saying? And right here, this had me pissed. Look, look, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit coming up. Right there, same exact defense, right? We play good defense. I know he's looking for a crosser. I know he is, bro. I know he is. So right here, look at these two niggas. They just stood there, bro. I was pissed. I'm like, yo, it's no way in hell. Let's just go back and look at it, bro. It's no way in hell I'm about to have a hell game with a sim real football playing quick snapper. It's just no way. So right here, this is bad user. I know I have people over here. You know what I'm saying? I honestly needed to just strafe up and then run this way. But when you try to turn and cut, but I'm like, yo, Randy there, we good money. But when you try to turn and cut and then he don't have no velocity ability, so the ball just hanging up, perfect timing type shit. I hate Deion Sanders. He ain't even do nothing. I just don't want his card no more, bro. I honestly just don't want his card on my team. I think I'm going to move him to safety. Yeah, move him to safety. Quick sale Zion. No, who the fuck is Zion? Quick sale Dorike Henry and uh, and make Palomalo La La my user. And then I, I, I'm, I'm going to try out that new Mike Haynes on that right side and see how I like that card. Because Dion really don't animate a shit ton with, like, acro. Damn, what the hell happened to me? So, there. So, we into the third quarter right here, bro. Again, he's going to either he's gonna use our alignment and either run back in coverage with that alignment. But, and he's going to run to uh to the left or the right because all he know is guard the corner routes. And he doesn't, he has no clue how to stop them. Now to him, I'm cheesy as hell. But I, but but then I dare I ask you this question: Am I cheesy for running the shit that beats the same coverage that he is running? Is that cheesy, bro? If if you stick in cover four, and I know I can hit these corner routes all game, am I cheesy for throwing corner routes all game? Or are we equally as cheesy and you just need to figure it the fuck out? You know what I'm saying? You just need that that cup is really, really good, but you need to figure it out. Right here, we just gonna go verticals. I know with him uh on this uh running cover four. Quarter, 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 purple, hook, purple. With this purple being inside the hash marks, 
he not even gonna make it nowhere near out here. So the only way he can stop that verticals, that quick uh, quick wheel verticals route is the flat out here. Anything else he's dropping, I'm gonna be able to hit him right here, pick up an easy first down. Like, and people say like verticals is annoying as hell, but in this scenario, it is like, it's clear cut that I need, that's the route to go to. Clear cut. Now, is it cheesy? Hell no, because the way you have set your defense up, you're allowing me to exploit you. Your defense allows me to exploit you. So right here, when he base aligns, he walks him back in, right? This is a purple under no circumstances. If 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 you say this is a, this is an exploitation route, why do you keep bringing him in? Why won't you drag him out? and then shade underneath for man him up here and flat here so you can kind of prevent yourself from a corner route unless he motions out if he motions him out man him up man him up you can purple him here and then uh user underneath like it's so many things that you can do if you feel you're getting exploited but right here uh a lot of people say the qb draw is glitchy one, two, three, four. But look how they spread it out. Good three yards in between each of them. Uh, I know this dude is in a hook, so he's going to drop. He's going to move here with the line so spread out. And him using alignment and dropping him back. QB draws the obvious call. It's going to be nothing but real estate up the middle. You know what I'm saying? And this dude is a sim player. He plays the regular foosball. But just because you play the regular fool's ball don't mean you're not cheesy. I could make a very good argument that everybody, sim, regular style football or not, everybody cheese in some way, shape, or form. Your cheese may not be as effective as mine, but you still do it. That's like strong pro and all you do is run stretch out this shit. Stretch, dive, and then you, right here he throws a quick slant. But that's like, it's just that, that formation uh, is dive... Uh, quick throws, and then when you go slot, you're gonna run stretch, and it, and that's it. As you can see right there, he runs the dive. Now at this point, this is the only issue with people who are regular players or a regular, no, real football and sim guys. Eventually, like you're gonna run out of time, bro, because you don't have any real route combos cooked up. So eventually. You know what I'm saying? My adjustments, my knowledge of the game is going to catch up to where you don't have any. You, do, you, do, you, depending on this high school football as knowledge or the fact that you watch football on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? So right here, Bird Hook, because I know he want that quick throw in the seams. He just throws some shit up. Now, now the only good thing about that, and then he punts, bro. Let, let's back it up. So the only thing about good, good about not having a velocity ability is the ball does not go in a straight line. So if, that's the only reason it don't get picked. Because if he throw that straight line, oh, I'm yicking that, even as a high ball. But the fact that he don't have that ability, that shit, like, look, look, look where the ball is intended to go because he does not have a velocity ability. That should be a pick all day. The fact he ran up and pushed this nigga like they was in the fourth grade was crazy. But the fact that he punted on the fourth and nine, down four, late in the third. Never would I do that, bro. I, like, understand you sim. But I don't know if you sim or simple. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. Sim or simple, pick one. So right here again, give up the corner route. I takes the corner route. Make an adjustment, bro. Make an adjustment, man. And there's going to be people in the comments who play like his. And it's perfectly fine. Like, nowhere am I saying that there's an issue to play like this. What I'm saying is there's consequences to playing this way. You know what I'm saying? It's consequences. People are going to take advantage of the fact that you will come out in a stock coverage. You've seen what I did when I was on the short side. I mean, yeah, when I was on the short hash. You've seen what I would do when I, what I was finna do to you. You know where I'm going with this fool's ball, man. Because this is an isolated area. So, yeah, I'm finna attack. I don't even think this is cheese at this point, bro. This smart-ass football, he runs over there. 
with the user because he did realize that, but instead of making an adjustment, he runs over there. I just check the ball underneath and get 50 million yards. Right here he goes, uh, now he goes to dollar, back to dollar cover four. I'm going to keep, I'm going to tell you this, bro, in case you ever see this video. I don't know what the fuck you think the difference is between that nickel, do I mean, that nickel cover four and that dollar cover four. But they, they about to do this, the same shit, bro. I, I, my bad for uh, breaking that news. I'm going to dot them both the same. Then the baseline, that definitely ain't ain't doing you no justice. So, again, I'm going to motion out, man. If he don't, this time he has somebody over there, we still throw it, though. You know why we still throw it? Because once he makes this outbreaking, uh, outbreaking move here, he's going to get about eight yards of separation. You know what I'm saying? So if if you want to drag him down, like it's it's just simple shit, flat him out, man him up. Like it's like it's not anything crazy adjustment wise because that purple is that curl flat. Um, I think the purple is a curl flat in cover four. I don't run a shit ton of cover four, but I know if it's a seam flat, I can hold him with this guy looping around. So right here, it loops right around again, throws it, uh, and we get down to the one yard line. I'm I'm playing basic football, bro. Again, why the hell wouldn't I run QB draw, man? A soft front like that, you still baseline it, even though you on a one yard line, backing dudes up wild crazy. Now, now, please tell me what's cheesy about what I've done this game. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, because when you look, when you break down a, a game of Madden, what's cheesy? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, what's really cheesy? Because the, everything that I'm doing against this dude, I do against really good players, but I have to put more effort into doing it. That's the only difference. I'm, uh, like, for instance, uh, I'll, I'll just break it down when we come back out. So, against a good player in a single back trips look, I am going to run this same shell of a defense. But, I may flat here and, and, and bring him down just in case he likes to quick throw here because this is alignment. So, there's really no threat for a corner out, you know what I'm saying, or anything. So, I could flat him and, and drag him down to the line, man him up. Uh, so to take away the seam throw, uh, drop him a little bit because if he notices he's manned up, he might start throwing those quick annoying ass outs. And then I could seam flat him and still send pressure off this side. But against this dude, I don't really have to do none of that. It's the same exact defense. I'm just going to bring him over here and, and sit in this gap and lurk this middle of the damn field. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's no thought of even bringing this dude down. So... Uh, oh, damn, I didn't even see Dog over there. So that kind of changes things, huh? Right there, still really good defense on my part. Um, I, did y'all see that nigga over there, bro? I for sure didn't. But again, even on this one, um, I'm going to play this like I play a, a, a lot of tight formations, bro. I'm going to take away the quick throw, and then I'm sending pressure, and I'm using my ass off. The only difference is with, with dog is he just make he he does not have a lot of what you need as we throw the alert to compete. You know what I'm saying? He don't have it. So if you like you got mid out elite, like and mid in elite, bro. What the fuck is you trying to be this elite for, man? Screen protector. Like he like you know what I'm saying? He he plays the game. Like, it's real life. He just don't want all secures. I don't know what the fuck these two even do, man. For real. For real. But with having no hot route master, bro, you can't, you can't uh, streak backside post. Well, you can if you if you run mesh posts. But then you can't put a post on the backside. Like, mutt abilities are crucial because your teams is so even. Like, he made that hella easy to bait because they just basic route combos. The only thing I got to worry about is the added slant. Right here, like, I go to his uh, x factors just to show y'all. Dog ain't running shit for real. Conductor and gunslinger. He want to he wanna be fast as hell. He want to quick hike you. But he want to put basic-ass routes on the field fast as hell. 
So when I be, and this is what I mean when I be talking to a lot of y'all who are sim style players and y'all be like, y'all just take advantage of the game and take it. Nah, bro. I'm taking advantage of what my opponent gives me. He giving me like right here. So I always tell y'all whenever, you, especially whenever y'all see this three high like kind of triangle look, it's dead giveaway as man defense. So is a C route, is that is that taking advantage of the game? Hell no. Nah. It's a man beater, bro. What I'm gonna do is is protect my uh protect against the blitz, and then I'm finna I'm finna scoop the Duke dog ass up top. I'd be foolish not to, man. I would be super foolish not to. So again, I ask y'all, is he any less cheesier than me? I don't think dog is. I think we the same amount of cheese. Maybe my cheese works better, but we both out here cheese and we both out here spamming plays, running the same stuff. It's just he chooses to have this style of play. I choose not to play like this. I choose not to punt. I choose not to take three in, in wild ass situations. And, and you can see in the first half, he was giving me trouble. As you can see, still can't make no damn adjustments. Oh, no. At this point, I actually... I, so, from this point on, you'll see me in nothing but stock defense. At this point, I'm like, this shit over with. I didn't walk my daughter because she had cheer practice and her mind was going to take her. So, I didn't walk my daughter to the whip. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Walking my baby girl to the car, giving her a kiss till I be there to pick her up. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So I have no clue that like he he ain't got shit going. And this is the craziest part about Dog being Sim and accepting his victory. He comes out in QB Neal, bro. QB Neal. When have y'all ever seen that shit, bro? Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Like uh, we could fast forward this. QB Neal. He kneeled the ball out. I have never seen such sim play when you lose. And he accepted the L, bro, and kneeled the goddamn ball out. That shit was crazy to me, man. I never seen today. Just, just, all right, you got it, bro. You was the better man. Let's get up out of here. And kneel that shit down and finished out the game, bro. Y'all sim dudes is amazing, man. Because I could never do anything like that and break my own heart like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Um, I really think everybody cheesy. And maybe you can try to persuade me that y'all not. But I don't believe y'all. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope y'all enjoy this gameplay. And I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.